Clubfoot is a uh, pretty common um, childhood uh, and infant um, foot deformity. Uh, we usually see it about one in a thousand births and it involves four specific um, deformities of the foot. Um, the first would be like a real high arch of the foot. Uh, the second would be a kidney bean bend of the foot. Uh, the third would be the heel tipped inward toward the midline. And then the last would be the foot held down in what we call equinus or plantar flexion. Or um, I guess if you think of it in uh, terms of like walking like a tiptoe position. For treatment of club foot, um, uh, probably the, the best uh, and international standard right now is casting. Um, something called the Ponsetti method. The way that works is after the child is born and the diagnosis of clubfoot is confirmed. So with a, an exam in the office, we you know, look at the child, make sure that there isn't something else going on. Uh, and once we can identify that it's truly a clubfoot, then we'll go ahead and start with casting. Um, that, is, that involves plaster casts that are put on about one time per week with manipulation of the foot to gradually, gradually, gradually bring that foot around into uh, the, the proper position for walking. And usually that'll take about four to six casts, so about a month to a month and a half. At the end of the casting uh, is when we make the decision uh, for uh, doing a tenotomy uh, of the Achilles tendon. So basically just cut the Achilles tendon what that does is it allows us to bring the foot up out of that toe walking position or plantar flex position uh, into a nice flat plantar grade or walking position without bending the foot backwards. So it leaves a little bit of an arch in the foot rather than bending the arch backwards. Heels in about three weeks and during that time the child stays in another plaster cast to allow it to heal the end of that we switch over to bracing and that's the longest part of the treatment. Starts when the child is say two months old um, at 23 hours per day. Uh, they wear a, a pair of sandals that it's a, has a bar attached to them uh, and it turns the feet out to prevent them from coming back down and in. That phase is followed by decreased brace wear but still about 12 hours per day usually when the child is sleeping at night up until about age four. After age four, pretty much don't need anything, just some follow-up, make sure that they're doing okay. The chance of it coming back after that point is quite low.